This video will be a demo to show you how stocks, options, forex futures work regarding historical data. Um, so first thing I want to do is show you that some of the attributes that you need are a symbol, security type has to be stock, the exchange has to be smart, and the primary exchange has to be NASDAQ, and the currency has to be US dollars for requesting the uh, historical data. And the options you can use are all these. Trades, midpoint, bid ask, bid ask, historical volatility, and implied option, implied volatility. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. Five minutes, 15 minutes, 10. Um, there are certain restrictions too, but you can have a year, month, six months, and so on. You can check the uh, Interactive Brokers website. Uh, I think I'll leave a description of that in the description section. And then you need the date, the end date. Um, it has to be in this format. So I can change that to... say one o'clock using military time then you just press this get historical data here this button gets you all the data um, open high low close volume and the date and time so that's the stock demonstration so now I'll do the forex so if you want forex you have to use symbol like euro, euro dollar, and then security type is cash, and exchange is ideal pro, and the currency is US dollars. And as far as what to show, you have to use midpoint, bid, ask, or bid and ask. There's no other options, and you can track that out at Interactive Brokers too. So then I just press historical data. And get all the currency um, for the euro US dollar pair for the prices here. Um, okay, so next we move on to futures. And for futures, you need the symbol. Um, security type is FUT for futures, the expiry date is the 20th of January, so the third Friday of every month. And the exchange you have to use is NYMEX and the currency is US dollar. So then you just press, um, oh, and there's some restrictions here too. These are the only things you can use. Trade, midpoint, bid, ask, bid, and ask. So then you just press historical data. The same thing, you get the date and time. Open, high, low. Um, and the volume, I think that's what that is, maybe one of them's missing. Um, okay, so now moving on to the options. For options, I can't get the historical data, but I can get the unique ID for a certain contract. Um, the reason I can't get that um, historical data is because I need a subscription to that. Um, so the error I'm getting is the error message here. Request market data is not subscribed. So in order for me to get that I have to pay an extra fifty dollars okay for those of you who stayed until the end I got a little bonus here for you something I'm working on basically trading combos uh, and for stock options like um, this is Facebook option the expiry date of the 20th of January um, stocks have weekly expirations. I'm going to go with the 
the 20th of January. So there's two different legs to the, this is a call vertical spread. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, for this, whether this is a bullish trade or a bearish trade and whether this price has to stay above or below this from, for you to make money. Um, so basically what you need to do is get the unique ID numbers um, for each leg of the, um, the option. And so then you, you basically type in all this information. I'll just hit get unique ID. So I just press this get unique ID number and I get that. I also have a demonstration of this in an earlier video I did about options. So once you get all that stuff, then um, I'm going to sell this option. So behind the scenes, I have a sell variable or whatever. So then I just hit send order. And there's the, the order right here. It went through at 75 cents. So then it appears over here in my portfolio monitor here. So please like and subscribe. Share with friends. Comment and donate, please. For those of you who would like to help me out on this project with the options here, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. Bye.